Hey everyone, Kaylee here to teach you guys this really easy half up half down style that's been super requested and you've probably seen it somewhere on the internet because it's been around a lot. You're going to start off by sectioning your hair from the ears forward on both sides. Then you're going to go ahead and create your bump. Now I was doing this for my sister Anna's prom and she likes some volume in her hair so you'll see I did quite a bit of teasing because that's what she wanted but you don't have to do quite as much. Do make sure to at least do a little bit but you don't have to go quite so large. Once it's done, pull all of your T-sections back and use your brush to kind of smooth over the top so that we hide all of the teasing that you just did. Once that's all done, you're going to go ahead and gather all of the hair together that we've teased and kind of bunch it together where it goes and then you're going to hit it with a little bit of hairspray and smooth it down with your hands to make sure there's no flyaways. You want this to be as smooth and pretty as we can possibly get it. go ahead and push the bump up and pin it in place exactly where you want it at whatever amount of lift you're comfortable with. Obviously Anna likes a bit of lift. And then we're going to go ahead and start on the front. This is a twisting waterfall braid so you're going to take two sections and twist them and then you take a little section from the top, place it in the middle and then twist the two sections over it. And then you do that again. So you take your little section, put it in the middle and then you kind of drop it and twist the two sections that you already had, twisting them upward. And now this is really, really quick, so if you want more of a tutorial, I have one and I will link it in the description box so you can go ahead and check that out if you want to. Basically, we're just making this waterfall braid with the section that we have starting up at the front next to the part and then finishing right here at the bottom of the bump. Then pick up a little section with the roots that grow right next to that bump and use it as a third section to go ahead and braid normally. And basically finish off that piece of hair braiding normally and then we're going to go ahead and attach it at the back. To attach it to the back, you just want to kind of drape it over top of the bobby pins that we've already placed to hold that bump in place and then pin up and into those bobby pins. Then take the top half of the section from the front and smooth it with your brush and then you're going to drape that just below the braid that we just placed. Now use two bobby pins to crisscross pinning back and into the bobby pins that we've already placed before. This creates a net of bobby pins which makes the style really secure. Now you're going to repeat that on the other side. Section the top part of that section, smooth it, and then drape it. You can see we draped this first section on top and we're draping this one just underneath it to create lots of layers while we're doing this. We're going to finish off by taking the bottom part of the front section and drape it underneath the section that we just pinned and then repeat that on the other side so that we have all the hair from in front of the ears pinned back into this half up style. Now I want to create a cascading effect with the curls, so I'm taking a 3 quarter inch iron and for these curls at the top I'm pinning them back up so that they will be very very tight, but then for the ones that we curl at the bottom I'm going to just let them fall so that they will be a little looser. That's going to create more volume at the top and less volume at the bottom which makes it look really cool and full and then tapering down which creates that cascading effect. So you can see here I'm just letting these fall. And then basically you just wait for all of your curls to cool because we set those up to cool up on top. Once those are done you can let them down and you see you have all of these little Shirley Temple-esque ringlets which we're not going to leave that way. You're just going to take your fingers and very very gently go over those. You're basically just trying to break them up a little little bit. And then once that's done hit it with some hairspray and you are all done. You have your half up style. So there's a lot of steps to it, but I don't know that it's actually that hard. Definitely give it a try and send me pictures if you do on Facebook or Twitter. I would love to see them. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you all. Bye.